Um, this is a really uh, easy thing to do. If you want to get into government contracts, you will need this number. It assesses your your, uh, your viability as a company and lets you uh, people see what your credit score is and stuff like that. So um, let's go ahead and get started. And the uh, first thing we want to go ahead and do is go to the site. This site's up located up here. And uh, this is at uh, dnb.com forward slash us forward slash. And uh, we'll have the link at the, with this video and also the downloadable uh, information as well. Um, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do when you come to the site in this um, is go ahead and go to up here and, and uh, DMB and Dunn's number. Let's go ahead and click on that right there. I can also find a company. Um, you can also find the information, and if your company already has a Dunn's number, it will be listed right in this little section right here. And uh, but if you want to go ahead and get one started, you want to go ahead and click over here. And before you do that, there's a lot of good information about this site um, that is very very useful. And I don't want to skip over um, too much of this. Um, after you receive your Dunn's number, here's some information here. Your business is listed in Dunn's database. Your credit information will be available to banks and other companies, and you, you can sign up for e-update to monitor and update your credit um, file online. Now that's really great information there too. And there's some hyperlinks here that you can click on and uh, business credit basics. If you have some questions about that areas, there's um, what is business credit? Why is business credit important to my business? What are the four C's that companies look for? Um, can't just use my personal credit? <laughs> and what's myth versus reality and uh, again this this page has a lot of information here there's also your DB information get a DB uh, Dunn's number business credit basics and also the facts and uh, looks like they have a thing down here is un undefined their website designer apparently doesn't have us uh, apparently uh, to uh, make sure that stuff doesn't come up there but that's okay um, let's go ahead and get started and take the next step I'm going to go ahead and here for US government contracts vendors and grant recipients get it done D and B Dunn's numbers. Go ahead and next. Okay, this page right here will pop up, and let's go ahead and go and read through this real quick. Make sure everybody understands um, what's going on with this. Um, we can over here some options as well. Uh, begin a Dunn's search request process. If you've already signed up for a Dunn's number, you'll be clicking on this right here, and that will take you to um, to request a search about D D and B Dunn's number. Some information. The frequently asked questions. And if you have any questions about this or the, the Dunn's number, this is where you would go. Uh, DMB, CCR, Grants, Contacts, DMB's Privacy and Data Policy. And uh, that's a little bit more information about what's going on. Now, if we want to go ahead and go through and get our sign up for a Dunn's number, the initial, we want to go ahead and go through this process right here. It says, thank you for using DB Online web form process for the U.S. government contract and grantees. Uh, welcome to DBN Dunn's uh, request service for U.S. federal government contracts and grantees. Uh, Dunn's Braxbury DMB provides Dunn's numbers a unique nine-digit identification number for each physical location of your business. Dunn's number assignment is a free is free for all businesses required to register with the U.S. federal government for contracts or grants. Click here to request your Dunn's number via the web. If it does not already exist in your business location, it can be created within one business day. And again, it is free. It doesn't cost you anything to have this number or get this number. Um, click here to request your Dunn's number by phone for U.S., Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands only. For technical difficulties, please contact gov at dnb.com. Let's go ahead and go to the process here and just do like they would sign up. We're going to go ahead and go through here. Okay, we're going to select our country, U.S., United States of America. Now, I went ahead and went through a, um, a sample one here. Make sure I go and get that real quick. What you want to go ahead and do is when you get to this page, um, fill out your information. What's, what is your business name? What is the street? We'll put 123 somewhere street just to go ahead and you fill the, the form out. Um, the city is your type in your city, your state. We just put them put AL. Zip code, there's a zip code for AL. And a phone, 256-555-5555. Um, click here for a new image if you can't uh, read this image. And we've got that one in there, so we're going to hit submit. Incorrect verification code. So maybe I probably read that wrong. Let's go ahead and go in here. And we, as you see, we've already signed up for one. Let's go put my company again. 
and we'll go ahead and do the street, Summer Street, City, My City, L, there we go. And we'll type in the code. This one's 7, 9, H, 5, M, G. Hit submit. Okay. <clears throat> and it's going to search these different results here. It's going to go ahead and see um, what's already there and check to see if you are a registered user or not. You can search again for a type of business or you can request a new DUNS number. Okay, we can go ahead and look at this screen again. Let's start from the top. The company lookup search and results. First thing it's going to do is go to SS. If you've already have a DUNS number, your company's already associated with one, so you don't um, you'll have that information. If you do have that and you do the search, um, you'll be able to find that easily, and you already find that DUNS number. You'll be able to update that information from there. But today we're just going to go ahead and starting a new DUNS number.